So, uh, hello everyone. So, let me present you Organist, uh, which is a project I've been working on over the past few months uh, with some fellow Twiggers. So, what is Organist? Um, so, to like present you Organist, let me just uh, briefly explain what an organ is. So, an organ is this kind of wonderful, crazy musical instrument where you're given a handful of keyboards, a few stops, even a pedal board. That's very, very geeky, but given that, you get access to basically a whole orchestra. And the idea behind Organist is exactly that, uh, to put you in control of the orchestra that you need whenever you're working on like a development project. All the various tools that you have to interact, to, to interact, to interact with to develop your project. Um, the key difference with an actual organ is that you're not given a console with music keyboards and physical stops. Instead, you're given a nickel expression, which is the primary interface uh, with which you're supposed to interact uh, to handle all your tools. Uh, nickel being this language that uh, was just spoken about. So this talk is not about organists. Uh, instead, it's about some lessons that we learned uh, while we were working on organists. Um, because uh, organist at, at its core, it's essentially um, Nix, a wrapper around Nix, Nix shell or Nix develop, but using Nickel as the front end language instead of Nix. And it turns out that changing the language that you use for writing your Nix environment actually makes you reflect on both Nix the language and all the idioms we use when writing Nix expressions. And uh, so I actually won't uh, talk about all the lessons we learned because I have uh, now probably three minutes left and that would take me a lot of time. I'm just going to focus on one, which is that modules as we have in NixOS, modules are incredibly, incredibly, truly great. So that might not be too, something utterly surprising for old NixOS users because we all love the module system when we don't hate it. But uh, I do believe that we're actually not taking modules seriously enough. So what do I mean by that? Um, so Nickel has uh, something which is called merging, which is a built-in um, feature of the language, which is essentially a slightly lower level version of the NixOS module system. Um, so as an example, uh, this is a simple instantiation of the module system, uh, doing some trivial things, uh, this is a uh, Roth nickel equivalent. Uh, as you might see, one of them is somewhat simpler than the other one. I'll let you guess which one. Uh, and it turns out also that uh, in addition to being simpler, it's much more efficient and it's more ergonomic and you can get a lot of benefits from it being built in, like the LSP knows about that, can give you completion, can give you live error and all that. Um, so why am, I, why am I telling you that? I'm not just telling that to brag on Nickel uh, a bit because it's awesome, but that, that, that's not the main point here. The main point is that because using merging is so easy, we don't ca just want to use merging for defining NixOS configurations. We can use it everywhere. You, so in Organist, uh, derivations are defined through records and you override them through merging. And then composing derivations is just merging different modules which represent these derivations. And then overlays, any flavor of overlay is just merging. And if you want like the high level interface that Organist exposes you to define your environment is just merging. And it's merging, merging, merging all the way down until you reach the, the turtles, I mean. And it turns out that it's it's great. So, I mean, okay, Nickel is using merging, that, 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 that's cool. Why should, why, why should you care about that? Um, so one, one of the things we realize when using modules and merging everywhere is that it is, so I wouldn't say it is powerful because it's technically it's strictly less powerful than using functions to override your derivations and all the different flavor of override ATTRS, override derivation, override whatever you want that we already have in Nix packages. But modules or record merging are 
what I would call the one abstraction to leak them all. Because it is a great abstraction for writing configuration in that it's a very leaky abstraction. Whenever you do something by, with NixOS modules or like you extend a record through merging, you add some new layers, but you keep all the layers before that. You keep them accessible, you keep them overridable. So this is uh, a small example, uh, hello package, hello, hello, my good friend, I come to override you again. And uh, so if we want to override, let's say this was, uh, well, this is Nickel, but let's assume that this is Nix and we want to change the version of this package. So in Nix packages, I would need to change, the, to have a, add an override, which would change the version field. I would need to override the source field to a new call to fetch URL with the new write version field and the new write hash. And that quickly gets a bit, a, a bit painful. There's a lot of repeated like, things that I have to repeat again that I want to write twice and it's annoying. With merging, I can just submit exactly the right diff that I want between my final result and the original one. I just say, oh, actually the version is that, the hash is that, and then the, module, the merging system will make sure that the version field that's interpolated in the URL will be the right one. And then you see the, S, the SRC field is not defined with a function call. The ampersand is just the merge operator. So it's merging, and that means that if I change the field through merging, it's going to propagate everywhere. And now I get the new source I want just by changing the version field. And that kind of solves all the problems we have in Nix packages of we have 50 different ways of overriding this package. I have no idea which one I want to use. Maybe I need to use five different ones at the same time and have a long chain of call which looks like I'm writing object-oriented code in Nix. So what? Okay, I've shown how incredible, like the kind of incredible code you can write in Organist, but why would that matter? This is not a nickel conference, right? So the first answer to that is that there's absolutely no outcome to that talk. I'm not coming with a great announcement of re rewriting the module system in Nix built-in or anything like that. This is why it's just a lightning talk. I don't want to bother you for too long with something not actionable. Um, but still, I want this to be like kind of a, an inspiration to let you, make you reflect about how much more we could use modules, how we could improve the module, whether it's making it built-in or making it more lightweight to use in Nix. And maybe also make you want to use Nickel and Organist. Um, so let me finish with the mandatory little marketing side because I have to justify my salary to my employer. Uh, go, go check out our website. We can do a lot of things for you if, you're in, if you have any kind of Nix or non-Nix related uh, need. And in addition to that, uh, go try out Organist. Um, it's still uh, in its early infancy, but it's already a great tool to use or to experiment with. I started using it for my own project. Uh, that was a huge suffering because it was broken in so many ways. But now that I've suffered that for you, you should be able to try it out and actually maybe even enjoy it. Thank you.